a short summary, how did you guys meet? We were high school sweethearts. We did meet in high school. She was dating a friend of mine. Stole her. <laughs> Hashtag winning. Uh, well, they had broke up, but uh, at the point where I uh, was introduced to Crystal, it was, he had a card on his desk from her and he kind of hit it real quick when I asked about it. And I was like, what's that? And you know, if you're a guy and somebody says it's none of your business, it all, it is your business at that point. And so I, when he left the room, I read the card. I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I thought to myself, well, that's the kind of, that's the kind of girlfriend I would want to have. And uh, what I found out was the Lord says in Song of Solomon, uh, three different times, don't awaken love before it's time. And something was awakened that day when I saw that card. And I believe it was the Lord preparing me for 27 years. 27 and a half. Of marriage. Yeah. Well, uh, we had this thing at our school where you had to like bring a, a canned good to get into the, to the football game that night. And I am not the best at remembering things. And so I forgot my can, of course. And here comes Ben Weiss with not only a can for me, but also for my younger siblings so that we could all get into the game. And right then I was like, oh, this guy can take care of me for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's exactly what it was that night. And so I, we started dating um, on Halloween. Yep. Yep. That, that year, 1994, yep. and um, we were just in love. We were high school sweethearts and still kind of are, just not the high school part. Yep. yep. What is love? I mean, my first response is Bible. I mean, God is love. I think love and marriage is putting the other person ahead of you and being selfless and not selfish. That would be what love is. Okay. Uh, I think love is a choice. I think you choose to love. Uh, so much of our world, certainly our country, makes love this feeling and it's uh, things like, well, I fell in love and I fell out of love and so I can get a divorce now. And love is a choice. It's simply making the choice, as Crystal said, to put the other person first. Uh, there are feelings involved with love, and I'm not trying to, to dismiss that, but I don't believe love is a feeling. Uh, love is a choice. We are commanded to love in Scripture. And if you want a bad marriage, be selfish. If you want a good marriage, put your spouse first. If you want a great marriage, put God first. And I think if you do those things, this, this idea of love that, that we romanticize becomes much easier to see and experience. Uh, romantic love is wonderful. Uh, I would highly recommend it for everybody, but I also understand there are people who have not and, and may never get married, and that's okay. Uh, Paul says to, uh, to be single as long as you can, because then you put God first. Uh, however, if you can't, then be married and, and give to that person uh, God's still first, but then that person second. How do you handle loving in a disagreement or argument? We've had some challenges. I mean, I think as you grow and you learn one another, you kind of figure each other out. Um, you know, I, I am more of a go back into the crystal cave if I'm, we're in an argument. Um, that is just my go-to. Been obviously was the oldest of six in How do they know that? That's a not family. Obvious. It's just obvious the way you carry yourself. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> he was, uh, their, their way of So there's three ways that people respond. They either fight, flight, or freeze. Flight or freeze, yes. Uh, and so when you engage in a, a fight, uh, the, oftentimes they're the spouse i'm a flight he's a he's a fight yeah it's basically what and we're so saying i want to get it resolved i want to get in the middle of it and tell me what needs to be done to get done and get past whatever it is and she chooses to just and go back obviously to the i'm a processor so we've had to kind of figure that out along the way and there are times that um, we've been creative with that um we've um uh, instead of like fighting we will we would email one another so that we can we can read the whole response and then 
think about our response to each other in order to make sure that we're we're articulating exactly what we want to want to say. We've done that in the yeah, past. That, that birthed from a, a time when we were in the middle of a fight, and she wrote something to me. I don't even remember what it was. But remember, that's how but you, I, I awakened out, love in you. Yeah, no, that was not what <laughs> you were not awakening love at that point. Uh, I typed out my response and. I purpose typed, I anger typed, and when I completed it and I read it, it was really mean. But I wasn't trying to be mean. That wasn't my intention when I was purpose typing. And so I had to reread it and change the tone of the email. And what I realized was likely that's how I actually communicate. And so we had a conversation. We, we don't email fight today. But there was a, a couple a of years where, where we had to do that. I needed to do that so I didn't hurt her. I wasn't intentionally trying to hurt her, but in in an effort to either win the argument, because human nature is you want to win, or prove yourself right, uh, I would because I I am quick with words, and she is. I have to process them, right. and I want the right words, and and, and so just... having to type up an email required me to communicate in love and what I was actually trying to say versus trying to win a fight. That's not gonna work for everybody. It did work for us in, in, in that season. Mm -hmm. Either you love the person or you don't. It's still a choice. Mm -hmm. And how you respond is a choice. You can be angry and yell and scream and fight, or you can have conversation about it. Now you need to learn one another's personalities in order to do that, but I think that would be my answer. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to have a biblical marriage? You're up, sister. I feel like um, to have a biblical marriage, obviously we're supposed to be like Christ and the bride. Um, as the wife in the relationship, um, you know, the Bible talks about submission all through. Yeah, submit. All through oh, the that Bible. Works like that. Um, <laughs> but we we actually did a series at our church about marriage and while we were studying through that um, I, I really had a new revelation from the Lord and from His Word of the word submission and really the word submission is like um, sub means come under so it would mean to come under the same mission so the thing is, is as a husband and wife Biblically, you're supposed to be going on the same mission together. The submission is that the wife is supposed to come under the husband and then they're together going to go forward with the mission that the Lord has given them. So they have to be in agreement. And um, for us, that was a no-brainer. I knew we were. Gonna, I knew I was going to be in ministry, and I had specifically known I would be uh, the wife of a pastor, and that just was. It took Ben a little bit to get there, but he knew uh, and heard from the Lord that that's what he was going to do. It wasn't until later in life that we knew we were going to be senior pastors. We, we just thought we could be youth pastors for all of our lives, and that would have been fun. That would have been fine with it. But the Lord had other plans for us, and, um, and so I think if you're walking in the same mission and moving forward together, doing what the Lord has called you to do is how the Lord wants us to function um, as a biblical marriage. Is marriage hard? M marriage, my marriage to Ben is not hard. I don't know if marriage in general is hard. We have hard days together, um, you know, where life is crazy and there's chaos all around us and we are under, um, rapid attack from the enemy. That's hard. But I have somebody that is supporting me and I have a partner in doing it and that in itself makes it easier for me personally. Um, but in general, I would say marriage is gonna take work. You have to plan to uh, spend time together. You have to plan to do the things that you need to do. You have to, it, it does take work on your part. You have to make it a priority, but it's not hard. I think it's challenging. And I think the covenant of marriage is challenging, but I think any covenant is challenging. Mm -hmm. So when you make a covenant and, and 
uh, you sign a contract for your work, uh, your job. That is challenging. To stay through the covenant, the, the contract can be a challenge. I think the person you're in covenant with really defines how challenging that covenant is. So is, is covenant challenging? Yes, I think any covenant is challenging. Is marriage challenging? I think it takes intentionality, uh, which is why I don't like to use the, the word work because of the, the negative connotation that goes with that. Do I think covenant with Crystal is challenging? No, she's the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you. I love living my life with you. I love covenant with you. 27 and a half years. It's a long time and it feels like yesterday. And I do, I love you very much. Ben Weiss, I love you. No matter what comes our way, I love you. You're the one that I choose over everybody else.